Welcome to another Metters Musings video. My name is Chris. June 21st, that's the day Apple will release iOS 4.0 to the public. It will be available for the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 2nd Gen, and the iPod Touch 3rd Gen, and will be a free upgrade. Now, as with all the previous uh, operating system releases, it has been leaked. There are some people who have put it up on the net, and I've actually downloaded it and am running it currently on my iPhone right now, actually enjoying some of the new features here, just to give you a quick little demo. You can see there's the multitasking or quick app switching as they call it, the iPhone, or I mean the iPod controls and such. So what I'm gonna do here at this video is just quickly give you a rundown on how you too can put iOS 4.0 onto your device right now before June 21st. Now I should point out that this is only for Mac users. Currently it is not available for those using Windows and that's because you do need iTunes 9.2 beta. So here, first of all, what you'll have to do is you'll have to surf over to gumballtech.com. I will have a link uh, to the site in the description below. So the first thing you need to do when you get to gumballtech.com is as I said, you need to download the iTunes 9.2 beta and that you can pick from a various number of sources to download right here. Once you have that downloaded, you'll need to choose the IPSW for your device. Mine is the 3GS iPhone, so download that. If you're using a iPhone 3G, there's also a selection for that. The iPod Touch 3G and the iPod Touch 2G. Again, you download those files to your computer. Once you have the two files downloaded onto your computer, it's simply a matter of installing them and running the application. So you'll want to start with iTunes 9.2 first install that. Once it is installed, you'll want to make sure you plug in your device, back it up so that you have your backup information there. So when you install 4.0, you can restore from the backup or you can do a complete new install as I like to do. Once you have your device all backed up, all you have to do now is install 4.0. What you do is you hold your alt button, click on restore. That will bring up a menu such as this. From there, you will choose your appropriate IPSW file. You click on that, you click choose, and then what that does is that will restore your iPhone with the new 4.0 firmware. That, that does take a few minutes. Once that's finished, you can restore your phone from your previous backup, or you can restore from new. And once that is completed, again, you will be running 4.0 on your either your iPhone or your iPod Touch. As I said, I'm running it on my iPhone right now. As you can see, there's the folders, game center. I showed you the multitasking, quick app changes, all sorts of neat little features that you can be using right now ahead of the June 21st launch. So what do you think? Leave me a comment below. If you want more iPhone and iPad news, check out my blog. The link will be below as well. You can follow me on Twitter. Again, the link will be below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.